Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda Month. Even though it's probably December when I drop this video. Yeah, sorry about that. These videos are way longer than I intended them to be. Well, with Zelda Month coming to an end, I just wanted to bring out my last video, which is the Majora's Mask glitches. There's some interesting glitches in here that I'm sure not a lot of people know about. And there is also a potentially undiscovered glitch in here as well. So stay tuned for that one. Let's get this show on the road with the first glitch. This first one I like to call blasting out of clock town. And by standing on this fence and shielding an explosion from a bomb or the bomb mask, Link will go flying right out of bounds. This next one is just a little visual glitch, but after grabbing this chest, you can just jump right through the stairs into the next loading screen. This glitch is very popular in the speedrunning community, and it's called the Infinite Sword Glitch, or ISG for short. And in short, this glitch is performed by swinging your sword and interacting with something in the middle of the swing. Now your sword should have a white glow on it and it should have an infinite hitbox running. Something funny that you can do is bust out the Bremen mask with ISG so that you're marching around while swinging infinitely. After performing and receiving the Gorman Brothers mask at the Milk Bar, if you finish the song as Link wearing the bunny hood, Link should be able to move around at the speed of sound. You can backflip right over this bomber kid. So uh, yeah, fuck getting that bomber's notebook. Speaking of backflipping right over things, you can backflip right into the lotto corner. I don't think you can rig it and win though. If you try to deposit the great fairy sword in the mailbox, the mailbox will not take it. Or will it? Yeah, it'll actually just completely take the sword away from you. And that's because the sword just turns invisible now. You still have it in your inventory, but it's just invisible. A cool little visual glitch is if you put a box down, Link can fit perfectly in it, kinda like Solid Snake. SNAKE! OH! MY! FUCKING GOD! If you buy bomb juice or bombs quick enough, you can sneak in an extra buy even though you don't have enough money. If you do a jump attack with a Deku stick right here, it will break. But in this case, Link still has it on his hand, but he has zero in his inventory. If you place a bomb and shield it as a Deku scrub here, you can get blasted right into Cafe's hideout. As Zora Link, you can side hop right here and grab the ledge of the wall. From here, you can walk all the way down to Cafe's house and jump right into the load zone.
So now we're gonna play as Fierce Deity outside of a boss fight. And in order to do this glitch, all you have to do is equip the Fierce Deity mask to a C button. Then ride Epona into the Milky Road and save while you're on Epona. Then reset your game. After that, reopen your game and go race the Gorman Brothers. Right before the race starts, mash the C button with the Fierce Deity mask on it. So this glitch seems all normal so far and has already been discovered, and what would usually happen is it would be stuck as Fierce Deity in one place on top of Epona. However, this part I think is undiscovered. If you mash the A button while mashing the C button before the race, you can now play as Epona without Link. It's still impossible to win the race like this because you cannot boost, but it's just funny to play as Epona without Link. Well, now that we are Fierce Deity, let's have some fun. You can reach places that Young Link normally cannot, like this tower in the center of Clock Town, and this chest over here. Oh, and look, we can see unloaded parts of East Clock Town. So you remember that blasting out of Clock Town glitch that I showed you a couple minutes ago? Well, now we can just jump right out, and again, you can do this to get different angles. Oh, and also, remember just about a minute ago when we side jumped at Zora Link to reach this ledge? Yeah, now we don't even have to side jump. We can just jump right onto it and uh, Fierce Deity will grab it. So, for whatever reason, this guard won't let us buy, even though we have a gigantic fucking sword. This dude does not give a fuck. So you may be thinking, well damn, I guess we're kind of trapped in Clock Town. Wrong. Wrong. We can, uh, you know, just jump right over this dude and completely ignore him. Okay, okay, well, enough of breaking the game with Fear Steady. Let's change back. And in order to do that, all you gotta do is jump in a pool of water and slap on that Zora mask. Before we jump out and dry off though, let's do a quick little visual glitch. While using the magic barrier, take off the Zora mask and become Link. And well, there's now a dark blue fog in Termina. You know, this is kinda weird and it creeps me out more than this game already does. Let's turn this off very fast. All you gotta do is just jump back in the water as Zora Link and use that shield button again. But wait a minute, don't take off that mask just yet. We're not done with him. Next up, if you're quick enough, you can juggle the Zora Link's fins by transforming back into Link and then back into the Zora Link over and over again. Thank you. 
So you remember how that guard wouldn't let us out because we didn't have a sword even though we had a gigantic one? Well, now he's not gonna let Deku Link out because he doesn't have a sword. And it's really making Deku Link sad. So let's just squeeze right by this guy. Oh, <laughs> and would you look at that? As Goron Link, there's a lot of places you can access by an unusual method, and that's called damage boosting. As Link, drop a bomb and then turn into Goron Link. Do a ground pound and let go at the last second. The bomb's explosion should boost you over a ton of fences in this game. This one's a little bit tricky, but if you angle it correctly, you can swim on land as Zora Link. If you hide out in Pamela's father's closet and wait until dawn of the next day, you will be trapped in here. However, you can just escape by using the Song of Soaring. When using the bunny hood, Link can just jump right into Sokka's hideout without doing any of the side quests. Also, since we're already in here, let's play as Fierce Didi again. Wear a mask like the bunny hood for example, and then when you play as Cafe, pause the game and switch the bunny hood with the Fierce Deity mask so that now that when you go to play as Link, you should be Fierce Deity again, and you can finish the rest of the side quests like this as Fierce Deity. Also, not really much of a glitch, but during the cutscene where the world blows up, the camera angles get a little bit messed up because the game never intentionally lets you view this cutscene as Fierce Deity. And finally, as this video comes to an end, so does Zelda Month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Zelda month this year because I really worked my ass off for all of these videos and now December is coming with Smash Ultimate. Oh my gosh. So anyways guys, be prepared for a crap ton of Smash Ultimate content for the rest of this year and the beginning of next year. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, turn the notifications on, check all the links out down below in the description, you can become a Patreon to support me, and we've got merch down there, we've got everything, check out everything down below in the description. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today.